Sunny skies shine bright in a late September afternoon over the Waslaco High School practice field. We're gonna run the double time exercise. So we're Mother gonna go Nature from offers a clear time, day for practice. Three, four, singles. Fall is right around the corner. And double time. However, let's go, Karen. This is South Texas, where summer-like conditions dominate Remember, for most slide. of the year. Regardless. The Westlaco Panther Corps refused to make that an excuse. Established in the 1920s, the Westlaco High School Marching Band is among the most respected in South Texas. A wall of accolades and trophies backs up their case. So you're going one, two, three, four. You should be between the yard lines. But this is a state year. Three, metal. Their focus Same is getting repeat. back to the UIL One, two, Texas State three, Marching three, Band three, Contest three, after 22 years. It's just something that you you put all this work into this show and the blood, the sweat, all this crazy stuff that you put into this show, it's all working for something. It's all not only pigskin, but it's it's for something further. We have such a drive at this point that we're kind of just pushing through it, bulldozing through and just getting ready to face what's next. A run to state competition starts with a great leader. Westlaco High has a special one in drum major Karen Jimenez. Last year, she was front and center of a popular restaurant commercial. There, Jimenez proved she can handle the spotlight when it's right in front of her. Now a senior, this is Karen's second year in her prestigious role. This position is really special to me because of the fact that this is what I love to do. Music is literally my passion. So being able to hold this position, it lets me know that I'm doing something right and that I'm on the right path. Oftentimes, members of a band come from a line of family who took part of the proud Panther Corps. That was the case for assistant drum major Delicia Riojas, who has five other siblings which came through the band at Waslaco High. Delicia's older sister Karen was drum major in the 2013-2014 school year. Her father Ray Riojas started it all in the 1970s as a trombone player at Waslaco High School. It's kind of a lot of pressure for me because uh, I just got to maintain this band, this good band image and all that. And but it's been nothing but nothing but a privilege, a blessing to uh, hold this title and band and uh, just be of influence to the band members here. But all things eventually must come to an end. She kind of brings it not to a, a sad close, but to a joyous close because. Uh, since I graduated in 77, that's 40 years this year. So me being former band and now her being band, it kind of puts it all together. Immediate family is one thing, but when it comes to the Westlaco Panther Corps, special friendships and bonds are created. That's natural when most of your high school life is spent together as one. It's kind of like a safe place here at the band hall. Like during lunch, after school, before school, everyone comes over here because we just feel so comfortable, so at home with everyone around. Fans, all the kids around here, they're like family to me. I'm probably family to them. And it's just amazing to have people that close to you. In order to achieve such an accomplishment, like qualifying for state, you have to embrace the challenge. One of them is performing in front of a packed stadium every Friday night. My favorite, favorite thing is performing Friday nights. It's just amazing to hear our band specifically, we march onto the field with a cadence. So when I hear that, that snare click it off, you just start marching on, onto that field and you feel the pulse. And it's amazing to know that every single person around you is marching to the exact same beat. My back is facing towards the audience and my my everything is into the band. It's to that, that beautiful image in front of me. And uh, I guess it's just a beautiful privilege to hear, to hear that audience uh, cheering for you.
every band member has their story. Next slide. Some do it for the love, others do it just to experience the team atmosphere. Then you have Kayla Garcia, who is only a sophomore, yet she's a great example of what dedication is all about. Kayla somehow, some way, has the energy to manage band, jazz band, is a section leader in the marching band, volunteers in orchestra, and also plays tennis. Oh, and that doesn't include her time hitting the books for her courses. As a student, to get good grades, prioritize your time, know what to do. Don't spend hours on decorating. Get, get the work information done. Everything else can come secondhand. With hard work and dedication also comes talent. And the Panther Corps do have their share of gifted musicians. Done, Alexander done, done, done. Santiago recently was asked to march in the marching music's major league as a member of the Crossman Drum and Bugle Corp based out of San Antonio. Everything was done at a really, really high, high level, a very quick pace, very detailed uh, instructional wise, and it was a huge, huge step up from what I was doing here in high, at the high school. It's quite an achievement, but it came with sacrifice. We rehearsed almost 12 hours a day, you know, all day in the sun, uh, sometimes 115 to 120 degree weather on turf in Texas, you know, and, and we traveled all over the place. We performed in, as far north as Rhode Island and as far south as uh, Florida. And uh, we did an East Coast tour, just immense conditions of the weather, it was crazy. Many great band directors have come and gone through the Westlaco Panther Corp. Now, the torch has been passed to Joe at. Venezuela, who brings an impressive resume to the district. Set. As an assistant band director for Donna High and band director at Laredo Alexander, Venezuela's bands have qualified for state nine times out of 11 years. To top it off, Venezuela was a band player for the Panther Corps, playing the French horn, and graduated in 1979. He's amazing. He has so much to offer to the table. And really, what we care about most right now is the goals that we have. And ultimately, his goal and our goal is the same. He's an incredibly com competent individual. And he's, he's definitely kept our best interest in mind. And that's what's important. And I feel like that's what the band needs to know and understand in order for us to make it to that state level, because he He's incredibly knowledgeable. He's come in and done some amazing things with the band. I mean, the tone is completely different than it was before in a very good way. And uh, just overall, his techniques are very, very, very uh, detailed and professional. Tubes, 0%, 4 and 16. Some of Venezuela's techniques and philosophy are certainly unique. Take, for example, this breathing exercise using a balloon. Six, seven, half. The balloon technique is to help air support because um, sometimes students do not use all the air that they have. So the balloon is used to form a certain amount of air every time, whether we give them eight, 12, or four beats. Release. It helps them to where they visualize the, the actual volume of air that they're using and they're learning to uh, adjust the speed to be able to sustain the long phrases that we play uh, without really having to do Ready, much as one, far as, two, as telling them, no, you need four, to sustain this five, longer. There's a big difference um, in tone quality and how sound, the volume, there's a big difference in everything we do. It doesn't stop there. There are also some old school teachings involved. Direction from Venezuela requires focus and attention to detail. Lams. And if you make a mistake, that's two laps. Expect to run laps after practice. But it's something the bat embraces if it helps the Panther Corp. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call it punishment because we're, all, we're an all volunteer uh, band and none of us have to be here. It's all by choice. And it shows us uh, integrity, uh, discipline, 
self-awareness, and many other things on top of that. As a musician, you've got to develop, you're always developing your lungs and you're developing your breathing. Uh, and that's just one way that we do it. Uh, it's, it's more of a way to help them, to help remind them of the things that they need to be doing is staying focused in uh, uh, the long period of time. All the sacrifice, discipline, and work will all be worth it if the band can swing all of that together and march to state. The focus is very uh, strong and dear to our hearts, especially to us seniors, because it is our last year, and we do want to make that difference to be the best band in the land. For K West TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.